Yeah, this is Troy from Cajun Nation. We out here in Glencoe, Louisiana. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to my brother Fonzo, you know, because he's the operational man and he know the land. Go ahead on, Zo. All right, Doc, this is what we have. Right here, right next to Mama. We in Glencoe, this is the sugar cane. This is like your infant sugar cane, but it grows fast. The more rain, the faster it grows. And one of the things that a lot, a lot of the farmers as what is June 6 is the start of hurricane season. Mm -hmm. And what happens, you want you want these this sugar cane as tall as possible and strong because when the hurricane's coming to it could wipe it out. But if you look back this way, Doc, you see hundreds and hundreds of acres of sugar cane. Uh, and as you know with the sugar cane, I mean you're gonna get uh, your sugar, your molasses, and now they're talking about using the the remaining, what they call bag ass, they're gonna go ahead and make pellets in this upcoming plant they're gonna be building and they're gonna sell that to China as a, as a uh, source of fuel. But from this, we're gonna get this, the Cajun sugar. And uh, pure Louisiana sugar. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, and I know Doc, this is your first time here. This is great with all these, these uh, cypress trees and everything. Uh, uh, these two, uh, call it uh, and right there with the uh, everything. And looking across the street, that'll be the next part where they're gonna grow, where they're gonna plant these the sugar cane for the upcoming season. So what they do, they're gonna cut this, harvest this, plow it, put the rows, and next season they'll go ahead and grow. Any questions? Anything you want to know about? is all I want to say. This is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Thank you, Doc. Look forward to it. Thank you, sir. And guess what we can still say? Go get the red can. <laughs>